Hey kids, welcome to uh, Unifor Lesson 6, Static Methods, Exercise Number 1. We have an investigate and modify. We'll run the program to observe the results. Then, experiment with the program by making the following modifications. Change one line at a time, then run the program after each change to observe the results. Then we got a bunch of stuff to do. Before we get into that, let's take a look at the code. We're instantiating three objects from the art club member class, and it looks like we're passing their names on as a parameter. And then our instantiated object art club member is calling the get num members method. Let's look at art club member. Down here we have two private instance variables. The first one is a string name. The next is the number of members. And I want you to note well, the word static. And if you remember back to one of our previous lessons when we talked about static variables, static means it's of the class. And ultimately, what that really means for your coding is that it doesn't belong to any object, it belongs to the class. That means you can use the class to call the method or that this variable or method can be called outside the class. I think we're gonna learn a little more as we go along. We have one constructor, it takes the name and num members is also being accessed down here. We have a get name, and a, another method, get num members. And I want you to notice in this method, now we have the word static too. So that variable is of the class. Now this method is of the class, not the object. And what this does is return the art club has num members and then members. Let's go back to my console. Let's see what we have to do. In art club member, look at get nums method. What do you notice about the method signature? We just talked about that. It has the word static in it. And that means it's of the class, not of the object. That means we don't need to instantiate an object to run this method. And it also means we can access it outside of the class. Before we get started, let's run the program. What do I think is going to happen? Well, I think we're going to add three members to the art club, Eva, Jacob, and Anita. And then we're going to call that get num members method. And it's going to say the art club has, and we should get three members. And kids, I want you to notice we're calling this from the class, not from an object. Let's hit run and see what happens. The art club has three members. How can we do that without instantiating an object? Remember, static makes it part of the class, not the object. So we can call it from the class. In art club member, look at the get num members method. What do you notice about the method signature? Well, I think we just talked about this, kids. Static makes it of the class, not of the object. And because we have that static in here, we can call it from the class, unlike a regular method, which has to be called from the object. Let's go back to my console. Number two, remove the static keyword from the get nums method signature, then run the program. What do you think happened? Well, let's go back to our club member. Let's remove a static on line 28. What do I think is going to happen? I think we're going to get an error because when we try to run this, we're not running it from object, we're running it from the class. The class isn't an object, so it can't access this method. Well, let's see if we're right. And we do get our error. It's saying, you can't call this method from the class. You need an object to do that. Java's object-oriented programming. Number three, add the static keyword back to get num method signature. In my console, 
try calling the getNums method on one of the art club member objects. What do you think will happen? Let's go back here to add static back. Head over to my console. And now it wants us to take one of our instantiated objects and run the get num members method. So let's copy this. Control V print it off. And instead of from art club member, let's run it from Eva. What do I think is going to happen? I think we're going to call it from this class since it's a static method shared by the class, not the object. Every time we add one of these objects, we're adding one to num members. I think the program is going to run like it did before. Let's clear our console, hit run and see. And we got the same output. Why did we get that? Remember, num members is a static variable from the class. So all instances of the class have access to it. That includes our Eva object. I think we have one more to do here. The art club member class has a static variable num members that is used in the get num members method. The art club member class has a static variable num members that is used in the get num members method. We're going to remove the static keyword from the static variable, run the program. What do you think is going to happen? Let's go to art club member. And we're going to remove static. From the variable. Now we're going to need a get method in order to access these private instance variables. Remember, our class creates a blueprint. Each object gets a copy of that blueprint. We have a get name method here, but we have no way to access this num members outside the class. I think when we hit run, we're going to get an error. Let's see if I'm right. And it's giving us that error. It's saying, you can't access this. There's no access. In order to access it, you need a static variable to do it. So here's your hint. If you get this error right here, you're trying to access a instance variable that doesn't have access outside the class or method. Double check to make sure you don't have access to a get method and a set method. If you don't, you can always turn it into a static variable. Key takeaway from this lesson is understanding what the static keyword does. In a variable, it gives access to all instances of the class. And the class has direct access to that. We also learned we can make methods static. Static means it's of the class, not the object. Hopefully this video helped you understand static methods a little better. As always, kids, if you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. See you later, kids. Bye, bye, bye.